Hey guys, how's it going? I'm back here with another video and today this is the sixth video of my series where I teach you guys React Jazz from the beginning. And since the last video we we learned how to work with states and you guys already know a lot about props. I think this video would be better if I made a simple project. So basically I'm going to be teaching how to make like a, a login application so that like in the website there will be a two inputs one for username and the other for password and there's going to be a button where you can click on it and we're going to check if the username and the password matches with a username and password that we want to make so this is going to be a simple project but it's it's going to use everything that we've learned so far so i think it's going to be a lot useful okay so initially i raised everything i've done before and i have a simple uh, react application with nothing inside of the the app div and I'm gonna work here so I'm going to add a, a input right so input and of type text this is basically going to be the wait this is basically going to be the username one and actually before this I'm going to be adding a an h1 and this h1 will have let me think um, login also I'm going to be trying to work with some CSS here so you guys already know how to import a CSS file and implement CSS in your react app because I don't want to make a separate video just for this so we're gonna make another input of type text this is going to be the password actually I'm gonna make this password because that's an input type and now they're like right next to each other okay let me see and I at the end I want to add a button and I'm gonna call it submit okay let me see we need to now do the CSS right so I'm gonna create a CSS file um, app app.css and usually this CSS file already comes with the application but to be honest, I erased it because I don't usually work on the app component initially. I don't do CSS on the app component, so it wouldn't really matter, matter at the end. So I want to access the app class. So I just come here and write app. And I want to make everything line up in the middle. So I want to give it a display, flex, and align item center, and justify content center. Now everything will be... Oh wait, I didn't even, I didn't import. And this is the important part. You need to import your CSS. So you come here and you write import and you just simply write the path where your CSS is. So uh, dot slash app dot CSS. When we refresh, you can see that everything is in the beginning, like on the middle, but I want to make them like one on top of the other. I want to stack them up together. So how I do this is by giving it a flex direction of um, column and you can see that now it's working. I also want to style stuff a bit, so let me give like a, a margin between the inputs, so of like 10 pixels. And yeah, it doesn't need to look that perfect, but I just wanted to change a bit and I'm gonna make the button um, margin top of like five pixels. Okay, yeah, okay. So now we're going to write the logic behind how do we determine if the what we're writing in the input is valid or not. So in this application, I'm not going to make a register like thing. You can't register your password and your username. I'm going to set it first. Like we need to, everyone who logs in in this application needs to have this exact password and username. I can make on the next video how to make a register route, but in this video is just login. So I'm going to create a, two variables called username and username equals to I'm gonna give it Pedro123 and I'm gonna create a password so password and the password is going to be password right okay so what we need to do is simply go here and write Pedro123 and the password which is password but now it doesn't work because we don't we didn't add any functionality to our project. So how we're going to do this is by using states. And in React we can define a state like this. So const um, 
set no use username state um, set username state equals to use state and it's going to take in an empty string so it automatically imported the use state on the top here but if it didn't for you you can just do it right now and I'm going to copy this and write the same for the password oh I just realized my keyboard is kind of bad so whenever I write stuff it always comes out wrong um, password and set password state okay now we have two states that are representing our username and our password so like basically the username and password that we're currently trying to write in our inputs right so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna set the user those username and passwords state like the, the variables in the state equal to whatever we're writing constantly and how do I do this is by going to my input and writing giving it the on change so on change property and inside of here I can literally write a function so I'm gonna create an empty function and this is how you create it you basically put an open and a close parenthesis uh, an arrow which is just an equal sign and uh, inequality sign and you open and close like two curly braces this can get quite confusing so I'm gonna like do this so you can clearly see what's happening here and inside of here I can give a I can take a parameter so on the on change event you can get the event parameter which is basically things that are happening to the input so I'm gonna give it a name of event and the way you can get what the what and the way you can get the string that you're currently typing on your input is by literally doing this event dot target dot value but we need to do this we need to set our username state equal to this so what we do is we copy the the function for the use state we put it here and now we're setting our username state equal to the event dot target dot value and this will constantly update so I'm gonna console dot log the event dot target dot value for you guys so you guys can clearly see that this is constantly changing whenever I am typing on the screen so let me see console um, hey you can see that like it's constantly printing whatever is on the screen and this is really good because this means that the state is working and everything is updating so I'm gonna erase this and I'm just gonna copy and paste this to the password field but change it so that it it targets towards the password so set password state and basically it works now however we're getting the inputs but we're not doing anything with them so I'm gonna give a on click event to the button and I'm gonna create a function up here so um, let me make this bigger and I'm gonna create a function which is going to be called um, login and inside of here basically we're gonna check if the username state and a password state that are currently like existing are equal to the username and password that we set up here so if username state equals to username by the way in order to ask if two, if two variables are, are equal to each other you can either do use two equal signs or three three just means that they are they need to be the same type so if username state equals to username and password state equals to password then we want to set login equal to true and I'm gonna create a state called login also while we're watching the video I just realized that my camera cut when I created the state so basically I created a state called login and let me show you created a state called login which is a boolean so I set it initially to false and on my function whenever the username state equal the username and the password state equals the password I just set the login equal to true now the next part of the video is after my I set my camera back sorry my camera died so continuing here basically we're gonna keep checking to see if the if the user is logged in and we're gonna render a header so an h1 tag uh, saying logged in whenever the user have logged in has logged in so how do we do this is by doing something called conditional rendering so we can inside of the of our html or jsx 
we can write some JavaScript. So you can do this. You can open and close curly braces and just ask if the user is logged in. So if the user is logged in, you can basically write to um, end signs and open and close some parentheses. And inside of here, you can return some HTML. So I'm going to return a h1 tag. And no, actually, I'm not going to return anything. I'm just going to write the HTML directly here. So h1, and I'm going to say logged n. Now, you can see that wait, what happened? Oh, I didn't set I didn't set the onclick event to our function. So we created a function called login. I can literally just write here login. And now whenever we click the button, it's going to run the function. So you can see that currently there's nothing in the screen because we're not logged in yet. But if I write Pedro one two three, and this needs to be like this, and I write here password, and I click submit. Now we're logged in. And if I did this, like if I just wrote whatever and whatever, and I click submit, it doesn't work because they are not the same when we're set in the login state. Because they're not the same because the user state and uh, because the username state and the password state are not equal to the username and password we set above. So I hope this video was informative. I think this is a great overview of what we learned so far. And I tried to add two other things that are important to learn. For example, adding some CSS and also some conditional rendering. My next video is going to be fully on conditional rendering because there's still a lot of things to learn in regards to this topic. And this is just like the simplest way of doing it, but there's a lot of stuff you can do with it. Please comment down below what else do you guys want to learn on React, like what topics you guys want me to talk about. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys later.